knowing the number one thing of any good soldier or marine is are their feet right so how are you going to take care of your feet while you're in uh, so we're going to talk about two things one's going to be boot camp okay. one's going to be after boot camp how you take care of your feet obviously when you're going on long marches list. rucks whatever you want to call it, it takes a beating on your feet and if you're not used to it and you tear your feet up and get some infections that'll set you back in training so let's talk about that first of all in boot camp all right so if you all your entire life had nice cushy shoes running shoes that type of thing and never wore something that gave you a blister or gave you a pair of shoes or just rough on your feet it's gonna be a big change for you um, so if you're about you're gonna go in uh, get some boots you know get some regular go buy some military boots you know whether they be you know the current uh, kind of like desert boots uh, regular military boots are all leather jungle boots you pick it get some and try to break them in and see what it's like on your feet because there is no substitute for doing that all right because you're going to go to boot camp let's like i say the first part of this is going to be about boot camp you're going to go to boot camp and they're going to issue your gear of which usually is a couple sets of boots right not broken in and you're going to start going from day one you're going to be running in those boots you're going to be humping in those boots you're going to do everything in those boots um maybe during some pt You'll get some athletic shoes on, but that kind of changed with commands. But a lot of times I found when I was in the Marines, we were running in boots and utes all the time. And, uh, you know, hopefully they'll have you running in more running shoes. But when you're on your boots, a couple things you want to make sure of. Really, when you get issued your gear, make sure they fit right, number one, okay? So, seems like common sense, but a lot of guys will get their boots and they're too big, too small, whatever. That's a problem. So, number one thing you want to do is get your boots to fit right. Number two is you're going to lace them up. Common sense here. Lace them up where they're comfortable. Comfortable with the socks you're going to be wearing. So if you're wearing the OD socks you're issued, you know, they want to fit right. So when I was in the Marine Corps, we got issued wool socks. Um, so you want to make sure they fit. They're snug. They're not too big, not too small. All that kind of common sense stuff. Now, most of the time in boot camp, the drill instructors are going to make sure you're taking care of your feet. Because that is one thing, you know, at Paris Island in particular in the summer, that will get you uh, dropped back out of training. I don't care where you are, get you dropped back as getting some kind of cellulitis in your feet. So they're gonna be looking at your feet, but you gotta worry about it before it's an issue. So make sure your nails are cut right, okay? Common sense stuff again. Um, so on your socks, you don't wanna be wearing cotton socks. So if you've got an option, don't wear cotton socks. Look below at some of the links I've got. There's Fox River makes some good socks, but if you're stuck with OD socks, you know, socks that are issued to you, you want to make sure they're snug, they fit, your boots fit, your toenails are taken care of so you don't have anything to rub, right? Because you're out there humping it on a long march or running in boots or whatever. Anything if there's a friction spot that can cause a blister will. Because you not only you got to break these things in and go go grab a pair of them before you go and see what they're like. The broken in pair of boots is night and day different than a pair of brand new boots. I don't care what boots you get. Uh, especially military grade issue boots they're going to be stiff right they're not going to be three hundred dollar hiking shoes you're getting they're going to be tough on your feet so again you don't have socks typically that are wool right so they're wicking away the sweat you don't want cotton socks they're grabbing you want your boots to fit right make sure laced up right and your toenails are trimmed okay now in boot camp at night you're going to be taking care of your you know have an hour probably take care of your gear your feet you know, if you got blisters, there's I've seen two parties on that. Some people say leave the blister alone. We always would pop the blister, clean it, make sure it was, uh, you know, any kind of disinfectant was on it. But we didn't want that thing, you know, popping while you're going since it starts tearing the skin. The quicker you can get it to heal, the, the better. You know, if you can use moleskin, take advantage of it. I We never had access to moleskin. Now, we would go in a long hump in boot camp. They would tell us, again, this is controversial type of thing now with better technology on socks bring two pairs of socks okay what i mean we're wearing two pairs we'd wear our dress socks underneath our wool socks but i have to say on long marches one thing they taught us and this is out in the fleet or when you're out in the regular army is you're going to be switching your socks out as much as you can so in boot camp they're going to tell you bring five pairs of socks six pairs of socks on a march you're going to be switching those jokers out as much as you can if your feet get sweaty and that's where you start getting you know pulling and tightness and you start getting blisters which will set you back so the more you can change your socks the better you know in boot camp they're going to work on it and if you've got an opportunity where they're not teaching you that take full advantage of changing your socks out all right so that's going to be another thing getting the right kind of footwear getting the right kind of socks and then changing them out when they get wet because i don't care what they are they're going to get wet and they start grabbing and pulling and that's where you get hot spots and blisters 
which will lead to downstream infection. So do what you can do. I've seen guys humping in to get nasty blisters, and then you see blood come out on long marches. You know, they, they, they suffer through it, and it's not that one march that's going to tear you up where your feet are really bad. It's going to be the next day. If you don't really take care of that thing, you can get an infection pretty quick. So if you do get your feet torn up, which you will, right, um, when the new set of boots, you're going to go and try to doctor that blister up in boot camp. Now, when you're out in the regular Army, the regular Marine Corps, you're going to know, you know, you're not going to be taken. If you've got boots and you're an infantryman, right, the infantry lives by their feet. So you're going to have a couple sets of boots that are going to be ready to go. So if you're a you know, march and you tear your feet up, or excuse me, they get wet, you got a pair of dry boots. So you don't want to have anything wet, whether it be socks, boots, whatever, that you can avoid. So if you got to switch out boots or socks, for any duration, you don't want to have that. In training time or in deployment, or sometimes you don't have an option. But if you got the option, keep your feet dry, keep socks changed out, boots changed out. If you need powders, you know, that works for you great. I never really had a problem, even when I in boot camp or in the fleet Marine Corps, I always made sure to bring extra socks, right? And and now I didn't always have extra boots, but at a minimum, I did everything I could to keep my feet dry. There's times you're not gonna be able to, but boy, you sure as wanna keep plenty of socks on hand so that you can avoid those kind of blisters or any kind of hot spots, which, you know, on an deployment is not gonna set you back generally because you're not gonna get that infection. But if you're in boot camp and this happens and you're not taking care of it, it can set you back in training pretty quick. And it's not even gonna be your option sometimes. Or they'll say, they're looking at your feet and all of a sudden you get cellulitis. Now you're set back a couple weeks to heal those feet up, um, which means you may get set back in training. Uh, most guys, when they're going and they're out in the regular army, the regular Marine Corps, are under, gonna understand they gotta take care of their feet. So you get those new boots, um, in boot camp, you're going to have no option. They're going to get broken in the hard way, right? You're going to be humping with them, running in them, doing everything. So take care of your feet. And if you got the opportunity at the PX, again, look below. i got some links for Fox River socks, which have done great. I've used those on long hikes. And I know there's all sorts of new tech out there you can take a look at and figure out, okay, what's going to be the best thing? If you can get stuff in boot camp, if you can't, you know, switching them out and really taking care of your feet at night, that's going to be the big thing. You're in the day, they may hurt. You may bleed, you may whatever, but at night's where you're gonna take care of them. Make sure that you're really looking out for your own feet. Now the drill instructors, drill sergeants are gonna help. Grandma! Toe jam! Pop that list and help try to help you out, but again, it's your feet. You're the ones gonna step back in training. Again, take a look. I got some videos below on some other military related topics. Uh, think about subscribing, liking the video, and using my Amazon link. And if you guys got questions, again, please put them below. Happy to answer them. I was in the infantry, put a lot of miles humping heavy gear, and I've seen a lot of guys and ladies get set back either in training or out in the uh, you know active duty military because of their feet. So if you don't take care of your feet, they're not going to take care of you. You got to hump this gear. Um, it's not easy. Hey, thanks. Hill that they hike, 
You ever been in Afghanistan and looked over at the Hindu Kush? Yeah. You thought our hills were large. Those hills are a lot different. Thank you.